Okay, I already found out why uh, 11 Labs AI string mode is stuttering. Uh, I modify my code in order to save um, the chunks in files into MP3 files. So I am able to have this. So these chunks belong to an answer. Uh, I'm using multilingual, but this is happening uh, in many other models uh, like uh, 11 Turbo. So what's going on is this. If I try to play back this, una solución and I'm going to uh, order them by name. Entendido, Jorge. Espero que puedas encontrar una solución satisfactoria para el problema del audio. Buena suerte con tu video de YouTube y con la comunicación en el servidor de Discord de Eleven Labs. Si en el futuro necesitas más ayuda o simplemente quieres conversar, aquí estaré. Adiós y hasta la próxima. So this is what's going on. We are getting uh, chunks of less than a second each. So that's where the stuttering is coming from. So uh, I wonder if whenever I uh, I can I can play back the audio with this function on nine two six three on this line. Let me see. Uh, I playing back the audio, uh, but I noticed that I can use ffmpeg. There is another function that is called a stream. And this stream function works pretty much similar to just playing back the audio, but this is going to uh, to return. This is going to return uh, the stream of bytes, but that's not the reason why I changed it. Uh, you can analyze this, and it's going to use MPV to play back the audio. This is eleven laps code, by the way. So. The, the issue here is that it's going to just play back the audio, but uh, the chunks are too small. So that's the issue. Uh, it's not really, uh, the API is sending us chunks very small. And the phrases that I'm working on uh, are like this. This is the yield, uh, hola Jorge. So this is a very small yield, and this is still going to be uh, chopped off like around here. So. I'm, have, I'm, I'm getting this um, very small chunks, and I don't know why the API is sending these very small chunks, but that's the actual issue. Um, another place where I try to fix this is here. Uh, using the generate function from 11 labs, let me just um, go back here, and I can do it, and I'm going to be doing a demo right now, but first, um, here, for example, uh, I'm using the generate function, and I am supposed to modify this string chunk size, uh, and I'm using 2048 bytes uh, by default, but now I am increasing this by 4,000, the double. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make this 100,000 bytes. So, 100 kilobytes. And that should be uh, more than enough to get very big chunks. So so that's what I'm guessing, you know? Uh, uh, so let's, let's give it a shot. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Podrías darme tu nombre, tu edad y... No sé, ¿podrías decir una frase kawaii? Hola, estoy bien. Gracias por preguntar. Mi nombre es Runa, tengo 23 años. Y por supuesto, puedo intentar algo kawaii. Nyan nyan ni hao nyan. Gambare gambare nyan nyan. Nyan nyan ni hao nyan. Gambare gambare nyan nyan. Espero que te haya sacado una sonrisa. ¿Hay algo más en lo que pueda ayudarte? Eso sería todo. Bye. Adiós.
Hasta luego, Jorge. Si necesitas algo más, aquí estaré. Adiós y que tengas un gran día. Ok, so as you can see, the stuttering was reduced, but it's still there. Um, I'm going to now validate the new chunks. There we go. So these are the new chunks. Let me remove those. So these are the new chunks, the last ones. Uh, this one over here. Hola, estoy bien. And Gracias por preguntar. Mi nombre. So the generate chunks are still under one second. So that doesn't make any sense. So the API is not returning them correctly. And I can prove that. How? If I go to this generate function from, from 11 labs, this belongs to uh, 11 labs simple.py, the generate function, and we trace back this uh, string chunk size. It's going to be used as a parameter down here, here, into this gen uh, generate string function. If we follow that, and here we have another string chunk size parameter with the same default value. And this is the place where it's going to be sent via the API class using this post here. This method over here is generating the chunks and it's yielding the chunks. But the thing is, uh, the chunk size is an integer over here. Uh, it's going to be none or equals to one, no? But if you try to, if we follow this through, the chunk size must be of type int. Okay, that's fine. And it's going to be calling, it's going to be yielding from this place. Okay? But the chunk size is not being used though. So that's the issue I have. Uh, this is no longer, I don't have access to this. This is where everything is, uh, where I am basically just um, uh, finishing. I cannot, I cannot trace that back either way. So this object supposed to be like a, a, like a streams or something, I don't know. And the chunk size is being ignored. So we are getting very small chunks and those chunks are not even the size of the, of the phrase that we are sending back. So that's the issue. We are having from the API, we're getting very small chunks, very slowly. And when you are sending those chunks to the play function, the play function is, uh, is, uh, is waiting for new chunks that doesn't arrive on time. And I don't know why the chunk size is not being used. Because these chunks, obviously, if we check them out, this uh, this chunk in particular is 20 kilobytes in size in, in hard drive, 18 kilobytes actual, you know, 19,112 bytes. So this is very far away from 100 from 100 kilobytes. So the chunks, the chunk size parameter is not being used. And instead we are getting very small chunks that don't even, uh, look at this. So nine kilobytes. So, so the chunk size is not being uh, used. So I don't know why it's doing that, but that's definitely coming from the API side. So uh, I'm asking for help, but this is a problem that I can just like, uh, uh, I can, what I'm doing here is basically, you know what? I'm not really using a street mode. Why? Because the chunks are very small and we are getting them very slowly. So that's the issue. And when I try to play back the chunks, uh, if I try to play them as they are coming, we are going to have a stuttering all the time because the chunks are very small and the default value for the chunks is very small. So I guess, that the backend got a change that ignores the chunk size and has by default a very small amount, um, like something around like like 10, uh, 10 bytes, uh, 10, um, 10, 
10 kilobytes maybe. Let me see what's the size of this thing. So the chunks are very small. The chunks are 27,000 um, kilobytes. I mean, 27,000 bytes, so that's uh, 26.4 kilobytes. So that will be, maybe that, uh, there is another with one kilobyte. I mean, it's very inconsistent. I don't know why it's doing this. 27 kilobytes, 12 kilobytes. So 20 kilobytes and then bits of silence that comes from nine kilobytes. So, uh, uh, I don't know what's going on there, but that's definitely coming from the API. So that's my observation. Uh, and what I'm doing here is just uh, gathering the chunks into a bigger chunk. And this bigger chunk is actually uh, 100, 100 kilobytes. So that's what I'm doing here. And when I get this, uh, this chunk big enough, I'm going to play back that whole chunk. That's why the stuttering is lowering. But obviously, between between every 100 kilobytes chunks, I'm going to hear that stuttering still. So what's the solution to avoid the stuttering 100% is to just avoid using a stream mode because it doesn't work properly and just play back the audio completely. But the issue is that if you do that, then you need to actually wait for the entire thing to come back and defeating the purpose of having a stream mode in the in the first place. So I don't know why it's sending very small chunks very slowly, but that's the actual issue. I hope this uh, this helps. Uh, and and that's it. That's what I'm doing here. Thank you.